हेलो फ्रेंड्स एंड वेलकम बैक टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ देखो अपना देश दिस इज़ ए वेरी ब्यूटीफुल मॉर्निंग एट पूरी ओडिशा एंड राइट नाउ वी आर हेडिंग टुवर्ड्स भुवनेश्वर द आइडिया इज टू स्पेंड एन ऑसम डे ओवर देयर एंड ट्राई ऑथेंटिक ओडिया फूड सो स्टे ट्यून एंड स्टे विद अस टूडेज कैपिटल ऑफ ओडिशा भुवनेश्वर इज ए डैजलिंग मॉडर्न सिटी बट इट्स रिकॉर्डेड हिस्ट्री डेट्स बैक टू मेनी थाउजेंड इयर्स द नेम भुवनेश्वर derived from three bhubaneswara or bhubaneswara which are names of shiva the deity of famous lingaraja temple this region has been hub for culture and religion for many centuries so now we are climbing Taking towards left. Dhola Giri, so it's on a hill top. So there will be some hard section. We just reached uh, Dhola Giri or Dholi. It took around one hour from Puri. the road was nice and on the hill top we have this beautiful temple but before that let me show you 360 degree view of this place dholi or dhabalgiri got its name from the temple of dhabaleshwar or shiva on the top of the hill this place is also witness of many important incidents in history including the great kalinga war between magadha and kalinga kingdom the war lasted for 60 years before king ashoka won the decisive battle in 261 bc right here near dholi that is daya river as per local folklore it turned completely red with the bloods of kalinga warriors during the final assault launched by ashoka friends we have mr subhash with us who is a priest over here bola ki panch karon ke liye famous pehla karan kalinga war aur dusra karan hai ashokna rock edit tisra karan hai santosh dupa bispa goda aur chauthe karan hum jahan pe khade rahe hain shankar bhagwan ka mandir dhableshwar shankar bhagwan aur panchma karan hai khun ki pyasi nadi jisko bolte hain bhi naam hai daya yahan pe raja ashok ne jo magad se la ke yahan se kalinga ko akraman ke tuk se ispan ki sunne उसी समय से लाखों आदमी को खून करने के बाद इस स्थान पर उन्होंने चंडा शोक से धर्मा शोक बन गए तो माइंड फरीबत ने इसी स्थान में हो गया और इसी स्थान में उन्होंने एक नया जीवन शुरुआत की थी ऊपर गुप्त के सन्नास बौद्ध सन्नास तो यहाँ पे वो आए थे और उनके चरण में वो संलग्न करके बौद्ध धूम अपना लिया और इसी स्थान में उन्होंने नया जीवन शुरुआत की और उसका बेटा महेंद्र संग मतलब सरावाल को भिजाया जाओ प्रचार प्रचार कर लो बुद्ध भगवान के प्रचार वो नदी पहला सा नाम दादी व्रत रथ और उसके बाद अभी राजा अशोक खुद उन्होंने जो माइंड में उनके मन में जो दया मनोहर आ गए थी उसी दया वन मन से वो नदी का नाम रखा गया है दया क्या नाम था पहले दादी भद्रा दादी भद्रा तो लोग बोलते हैं कि जब कलिंग वार हुआ था दिस रिवर टर्न इन टू रेड मतलब पूरा लाल हो गया था खून से थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच सो आफ्टर पेइंग रेस्पेक्ट टू द शिवा टेम्पल नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू द शांति स्तूपा एंड फाउंडेशन of the santi stupa was laid by the king ashoka himself but in 1972 with japanese help and collaboration this stupa was built
Unfortunately, the Dhauli Shanti Stupa was closed for renovation. It was a bad miss indeed, but we spent very calm and peaceful time sitting nearby. This peace pagoda or Shanti Stupa was built with the help of Nachirin sect of Buddhism from Japan. And I had the opportunity to visit Kamakura Amida Buddha, which is uh, one of the most prominent places of Nachirin Buddhism in Japan. So if you want to see that video, I shall put the link in the description as well as in the i button. We could not go inside the Santi Stupa, obviously because the renovation is going on. But spend some peaceful time here. So do come here, spend some nice time. And now we are going down. There are 10 sites in India or extended India where King Ashoka built and left uh, stone edicts and Dhauli is one of those. So we are going down to see that. So this stone tablet tells about the history and some important information about the Ashoka or edicts. Also there is a summary of contents of the edicts. For example, arrangements were made both for human and animal beings for medicinal treatments, planted trees and dug wells on the road sides. So these are the major rock edicts of Ashoka and he created these rock edicts to promote his message of peace, harmony and justice after he adopted Ahimsa following the war of Kalinga. These edicts are actually written in Prakrit, not Sanskrit like most of the carvings of that time because Ashoka wanted the common people to understand and follow these uh, messages that he wanted to convey and the common people really used Prakrit during those days. at the craftsmanship we had even before Christ. Here the artist has uh, tried to show an elephant is coming out of the cave and this entire thing is cut out from a single rock. There is a well-maintained garden here with lots of greenery. You can definitely spend some peaceful time. So friends, we have already covered Dhauli, Shanti Stupa and uh, Ashoka Rock Edicts and now we are heading towards Lingaraja Temple. Friends, if you are enjoying this video, then do us a favor by clicking the like button so that YouTube recommends it to more number of viewers. You can also help us by sharing this video on your Facebook page. So we have reached Lingaraja Temple. It was just a 15 minutes drive from Holy Santi Stupa. It is insanely hot today and humid as well. But I think it is worth spending some time over here. It is a marvelous architecture. Unfortunately, I cannot take the camera inside because videography is not allowed. But definitely from outside, I'll try to show how magnificent the architecture of the temple looks. Construction of the Lingaraja temple believed to be started by Somabasai dynasty and later on completed by Ganga rulers in 11th century. The main deity of the temple is Harihara where Hari is Vishnu and Hara is Mahadev which in turn signifies amalgamation of Shivaite and Vaishnava beliefs here. Non-Hindus are not allowed to go inside Lingaraja temple that's why this platform was created for Lord Karzan, then Viceroy of India, so that he could come here 
and from outside the boundary walls of the temple he could have a view and wow from here you get a good view of the complex so the middle one is the actual harihar temple or lingaraja temple and this entire place is a complex of various temples like durga kali yama narayana vishnu and different different other forms of uh, hindu gods and goddesses it is experience of a lifetime to come here and see those the experience of visiting the temple was indescribable we were taken aback by the grand scale and intricate craftsmanship many people ask me even you are a non believer why do you keep on visiting all the hindu temples because the best art the best architecture the best craftsmanship you can only see in these temples and that is to our ancestors created this magic when rest of the world was probably trying to discover how to melt a glass so after visiting lingaraj temple we were in search for some authentic odia food not sure where to go we found in google about this place juhar da kalinga kitchen it is supposed to be a good restaurant let's go inside and check so friends this is a small but neat restaurant uh, for authentic odia food we see in the menu they have varieties of options all uh, from the odia cuisine let's try some of those we have ordered three uh, mutton meals cola friends we have to live with us he is going to explain what are these pura bataiye kya hai क्या रिवर फिश है या सी में मिलता है अच्छा थैंक यू थैंक यू वेरी मच हाउस द मटन Really good. It's super soft. How was your fish? It's super yummy. And it seems you have not left. No, nothing is left. I'm still on it. I will finish these as well. <laughs> not only the food was good here, but the decor is also tastefully done, giving an overall very charming experience. It was worth to select Juhar for lunch. so we had a wonderful lunch at uh, juhar kolingo kitchen i'll put the link in the description it is uh, not in a very prime locality so it will be easier for you to find it with the location and now we are heading towards uh, udaygiri and khandagiri uh, our idea was to see the magnificent sunset from there but suddenly it became quite uh, overcast i'm not sure whether we'll be able to see the sunset but let's see let's hope for the best So folks we have reached the parking of Udaygiri Khandogiri unfortunately it is very very cloudy now Udaygiri and Khandogiri 
has series of natural and artificial caves created to be residential blocks of the Jain monks. These Jain monasteries were carved out in 1st century BCE by King Kharavela. There are total 18 caves or gumphas in Udayagiri where Jain monks used to live and practice religion. A good number of Jain religious stone inscriptions written in Brahmi language is also found here. Many of these caves are either damaged or in bad shape. But thanks to Archaeological Survey of India, they are doing a very good job for restoration. There is too much wind noise here. I am not sure whether you will be able to hear me. But behind me is the Ganesh Gumpa of Udayagiri where thousands of years ago uh, Jain monks used to practice Jainism. And on this side, we have high rises of modern day Bhubaneswar. I have reached the topmost point of Udayagiri, and from here, Khandagiri and Bhubaneswar city looks simply amazing. Suddenly, thunderstorm and rain started, so I need to go down. Friends, today we covered three major places of Indic religion in Bhubaneswar, Lingaraja Temple of Hinduism, Dholi Shantistupa Bodhism, and Udayagiri of Jainism. And we are very happy. There are a lot many things to do in Bhubaneswar, but maybe we'll do that next time. I hope you have enjoyed this day trip along with us. If so, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. Stay with us and Dekho Apna Desh.